Hello. Uh, what I have today is uh, two uh, BLDC fans that are available uh, right now in India. One is uh, the Attenberg Gorilla fan, and the second one is a Super Fan. Uh, model number is A1. I bought uh, both of bought both of these from uh, Pepperfry.com um, using an offer, and uh, the Gorilla fan uh, cost me about uh, three thousand. And uh, the Superfan A1, um, which uh, is uh, retailing around 3,689, I got it for 3,200 using some coupons. So we'll see, uh, open up both these packages and see what's, uh, how they fare. Well, first I'm going to open up uh, the Gorilla Fan. So among these, uh, as per specification, uh, the Gorilla fan is supposed to be more uh, efficient and uh, cheaper too, slightly cheaper uh, compared uh, with the uh, super fan. Uh, this is rated at around uh, 2,800 watts. See what we got here in the package. So this is the ivory model. In super in gorilla fan, you have only uh, three colors available ivory white and uh, a brown color um, whereas in super fan you have uh, a lot more um, color options and uh, uh, whereas a gorilla fan um, bl blades are uh, standard fan blades um, super fan has got much more fancy uh, good looking uh, blades um, this is a remote that comes with the uh, super fan as you can see here you have got around uh, five speed keys a power and sleep key and uh, one two three four five keys for uh, time timer function um, so that's what you got in the package you can take a good look so um, Next here I am opening up uh, your super fan. What I ordered was an orange uh, color, but what I ordered was an orange color, but uh, unfortunately they didn't have that. So um, they checked with me and finally sent me uh, a blue color fan. So let's see what we got in the package here. This is a uh, screws and remotes. Um, the main motor unit. This is slightly heavier than uh, Gorilla. I don't know how much it weighs, but it's very heavier. Um, so the main difference or the beauty of this fan is its. Uh, blades and that is the reason um, that I actually consider getting a super fan otherwise uh, as far as power efficiency is concerned I would have definitely gone with uh, uh, Gorilla because that is 7 watts uh, more efficient um, so there you go let me arrange it slightly better for a better view um, on the left side is your um, super fan, blue color one, and on the right side is your gorilla fan. Let me open up the remote and show you the difference. So here are the remotes. Uh, uh, the functions of these two remotes are um, slightly different as well. So on the left side you have the super fan remote, which is uh, very small. Uh, while that is an advantage, it can get lost pretty soon and it doesn't feel so sturdy. 
whereas the Gorilla fan remote, it has a slightly different functions, um, but looks more sturdy and it uh, uh, feels good and fits uh, in your hand properly. Um, otherwise, um, the main difference between these two fans is uh, um, the extra functions that comes with it. Uh, on the Gorilla fan right side, you can see you have power, sleep, speed and timer control. So what you get extra on uh, Gorilla fan is uh, the timer control, whereas on Super Fan, you get the speed control, power on off and the fine adjustment uh, arrows that you see, you can adjust the speed of the fan uh, more finely and this one right here, that is a button for a special breeze uh, feature wherein the fan will rotate at full speed for some time and then gradually uh, fall down in speed and again gradually pick up. So um, that kind of uh, simulates as per them simulates the natural breeze that you get um, from the wind outside uh, but from my perspective that also should uh, help you reduce the power usage so instead of constantly running at 5 uh, it would be dropping down to um, lower speeds and then um, coming back up so there should be fluctuations in uh, power usage as well which is in my opinion an advantage uh, whereas Gorilla Fan uh, by default it is um, much more power efficient so what you get with that is a timer function uh, so I think you can um, time it up uh, for uh, uh, several hours one two three six and nine I think I have not tried it yet so if you uh, already have one super fan here right up um, so you can see that let's see if this new remote works with uh, the existing fan um, make power it on yeah it looks like it, it works so this is a super fan uh, violet uh, color um, it works really nice uh, better I think better speed than my uh, normal fan here that I had. Um, my standard fan was consuming around 70 watts whereas this fan uh, is running um, around uh, 35 watts at its peak speed. But uh, generally what I found is running at speed 4 is uh, uh, equivalent um, to my older um, fan. So I think I might not end up using 35 watts, slightly lower than that as well. So here are some details from the Gorilla Fan manual. Um, so the timer allows you to time it for 1, 2, 3, 6 and 9 hours. Also there is a sleep mode which apparently uh, what it does is reduces the speed after 4 hours by 2 steps and then fan runs to uh, continues to run on that reduced speed so which sounds uh, reasonable because you'd require more air or uh, colder air when you go to sleep and gradually when it's uh, past midnight you wouldn't um, require that much uh, fan speed because uh, the temperature would drop so um, it seems uh, reasonable so but uh, both of these fans um, uh, differ in that uh, extra functions that you have um, Superfan uses uh, integrate no uh, uh, CR2032 uh, button form of uh, battery whereas uh, Gorilla Fan uses a normal AAA battery and uh, they have provided one set of batteries so I'll uh, fix it in a uh, um, couple of hours and then show you how it runs another thing is that uh, these fans do not require a uh, uh, regulator so this thing right here um, will need to be disconnected so that's what I've done here um, so it becomes redundant so the entire control uh, goes by the remote that you have here